kind of my worst nightmare. Uba, Steve! Damn you! Neither of us want to get in the water at the marina. It's not clear at all. It's a part of the boat that fell off, so... <laughs> It's our last night in Fort Myers Beach. We're going for a sail. Tomorrow we leave for the Keys. We've been in the marina for the last two weeks. We've got just a few days to go before we're going to leave for Key West. The bottom is scuzzy. Neither of us want to get in the water at the marina, so we're going to take it out around, out of the pass and around um, on the Gulf side and drop anchor there and scrub the bottom. We have a little more wind than we hoped we would have. So we're hoping the gulf isn't too choppy because it's really nice. You don't have the boat bucking around on top of you when you're climbing around underneath it. We're going to go get the goatee off the uh, bow of the boat. <laughs> So we've motored around to the gulf side of Fort Myers Beach to clean the bottom of the hull of the boat. It's kind of my worst nightmare. I don't really like being in water that I can't see very much, and this water is not very clear. Uh, and then scraping off all the gooey gunk on the bottom of the hull, there's gonna be little shrimps crawling all over, they try and get inside of your ears and in your everything. Uh, and I just don't like being in water that I can't see the bottom of. So we've anchored in, what, seven foot of water? Seven and a half. And uh, we barely could see the bottom, the anchor when it hit the bottom. So I'm hoping we'll have some decent visibility. But today we've got a whole hookah set up. Our next door neighbor loaned us his kit for cleaning the hall. So I've got suction cups and brushes and scrapers. And, scrapers. and a weight belt. Uh, now I'm going to hook this bad boy up and face my fears, jump in the water. <laughs> Hope there's nothing with teeth around. I actually might be less afraid than you. Why is that? I don't know, because I don't mind being out in the open more. Mm. If I was doing it in the marina, that would be my absolute worst nightmare. Yeah, well that was, that was pretty close to my worst nightmare. <laughs> this, is, this is a close second. You hand me this stuff when I get in too. Make sure that that hose comes with me. Mm -hmm. I got you, babe. Okay. Scuba Steve! Damn you! It's not clear at all. Really? I'm gonna give you this. Okay. I'm gonna clean the top first. The glue brush? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But 
need to face my fear. And holy crap, I got in the water and I was like hyperventilating through this thing. I was like, <laughs> and after like five minutes, I finally started to relax. So this is good. It might not be really helping, but this is good. <laughs> okay, let's get in. Pretty close to the bottom. Really? Yeah. Is the tide uh, coming out? Yeah. Oh. Man, that was really nice when the sun was out for a while. Oh, you can actually see it. Yeah. Do you want me to drop the keel like six inches or something? Sure. To see what it looks like? Um, or the centerboard? Yeah, but I want to go to the other side of the boat too. Why don't you drop the keel first? Okay. Just the centerboard? A little bit. <laughs> the centerboard, yeah. <laughs> itty bitty ones starting They're incredibly hard to see all those little dots right there this came out of our centerboard trunk it was right on the edge where the centerboard goes up into the trunk and it was just loose so I just went and it just fell out not good is <laughs> what that means because what do you think it is well it's a part of the boat that fell off so <laughs> that's never good but I think it's some sort of epoxy that was used to smooth over something and now something is exposed that shouldn't be so I don't I don't know I have no idea we're gonna have to look into that when we haul the boat out I am here at the Revolution Cable Park to do something I have not done in a lot of years and that is ride a cable Yee! I'm totally stoked to go wakeboarding Pulled into Fort Myers and met Randy and Corey, who are big wakeboarders. Go get them, Corey! <laughs> and they invited me to come out and hang out with them for a day at the cable park. All right, what are you hitting? The last time I rode at a cable park was over 15 years ago in 2003 at the National Collegiate Water Ski Tournament. Wakeboarding was all-consuming for me in my teenage years. It took over every part of my life and shaped everything I did. We'd stay out late all summer long until it was too dark to see. We built crazy contraptions to slide on or jump off, and narrowly avoiding disaster most of the time. And it was wakeboarding that led me to video production. I began filming all the crazy stuff we were doing so we could watch it, critique it, and learn how to do it all better. So running into Randy and Corey, who were living the same stoke that I had so many years ago, was completely unexpected. But it brought it all back to me and I was super excited to get back out on the water. Even though I was pretty rusty and paid for it dearly with three days of back and knee pain, being able to film and wakeboard with Corey was a blast. He's quite a ripper yeah. and far surpasses my talents at his age. Thanks again to Corey and his dad Randy for inviting me out. I had an awesome day. Fort Myers for a couple weeks now 
and we're actually getting ready to leave for the Keys on Friday. What have you done this whole time that we've been here? I've replaced the water pump and flushed all the fluids in the boat, changed the oil, changed the fuel filters. And bought a wrench set for the elves that we're hiring to work on our engine from now on. These are the tiniest wrenches ever. Cleaned the boat. Besides a general cleanup of the cabin and scrubbing the top side, we discovered mother's polish, and wow, it worked wonders on our mast. We walked up and over this bridge almost every day, a three mile round trip from the marina into Fort Myers Beach. And then we take the trolley to the public library to work in the AC. I've dealt with a lot of real estate stuff. I am about to make a call to potential new tenants for one of our properties in Chicago. All of our tenant leases renew every summer and one of the tenants is moving out. So that, that all works out well. The only thing I really wanted to ask you a question about was your bird. I have no experience with birds whatsoever. It seems pretty cool. I looked up a Quaker parrot on YouTube. Does it talk? Yeah. Uh, what else did we do? Well, we positively drooled over another boat. So much so that we went over to its slip unannounced, hoping to get a tour. Love, are you super excited? I'm super excited. What are, you, what are we doing? going to go see Bazinga, 48-foot Wareham Ariki that I watched the builder build from day one. For years, I have been wanting to see this boat. We pulled into Fort Myers and drove right past it, and today we saw the owner cleaning the decks. So we're going to go tour it, I hope. I don't know. We're going to ask him if we can. <laughs> if you've seen our first few episodes chronicling our boat search, you know the boats we looked at in the beginning were all catamarans. Our budget wasn't quite there to afford one, and in the end, we lucked out finding our beautiful tartan. Bazinga was for sale, though there was no way we could afford her. And even if we could, there was one big issue we couldn't get over. She didn't have enough standing headroom for Kirk. Are you ready to go to Key West? I'm so ready. Check and see if Mr. Beak's ready. Mr. Beak, are you ready? Mr. Beak, you may have a tiny bit too much oil. But when we start things up, because it's been a few days, then everything will be A-OK. -okay. Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak, you are our engine. Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak. You take us to the ocean, Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak. You provide the forward motion, Mr. Beak, <laughs> Mr. Beak, Mr. Beak. Alrighty. I think we do this. We're going for a sail. We're going for a good long sail. Probably an 18 hour sail, give or take. Give or take two hours. Give or take four. Give or take four. <laughs> But this will be the first time we put up the sails in three weeks, actually, exactly. And three weeks ago, the sail that we did was kind yeah, of a... Right. We pulled in here half, literally uh, three weeks ago today, Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, we were just sailing down the channel, down the ICW. So, I mean, we were sailing, but it wasn't like a passage. So, um, yeah, 120 miles. 
120. 120 miles. It's about 3 p.m. right now. We think we'll arrive tomorrow midday-ish. Let's go! Alright, are you ready? Yeah. That's what we want our mat. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright guys. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright, let's hop on. Okay. I'll watch this. Thank you. Yep. Thanks you guys so much. take care. Good luck to you. And away we go. See ya Bazinga. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll have a wear them. Uh, I don't know, 15? Well, no, because we went there and back. I don't know, probably 30. A lot of times. It's giveaway time. Last episode we announced that we were going to do a giveaway on Instagram. Our giveaway was two Sailing Solianus coffee mugs. We have chosen one random winner and that winner is Kyle Bruzveen. Congratulations Kyle. Reach out to us on Instagram, send us a message. So moving right along, our next giveaway will be a trivia question that we are going to ask in our next video. And the first person to comment with the right answer on that video and send us an email will be the winner. Make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell <laughs> to be the first to be notified. Because time is of the essence. Or if you dig what we're doing, join us on Patreon. If you want to help support our content and you want to enter our patron only giveaway, sign up right there. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck. Picking, were you picking my nose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>